The reason you're so often getting off track with your new habits is not that you're not able to achieve them. It's that you have set too high expectations. When you don't meet them, you get off track and you don't get back on. See, when you expect everything to happen perfectly, and you don't anticipate that there are challenges or setbacks, that's when you get off track with your new habits. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to 10x your energy in 2021 and how to stick with your new habits. That's what's coming up right now. And welcome back to the Conscious Leaders TV. I'm Yannick Atzner, I'm your leadership and business coach. And here in this video, we're going to talk about how to 10 X your energy in 2021 so you feel fully alive, so you feel vibrant and you enjoy your life. And I've got 10 key insights to 10x your energy. I'm super pumped. And if you're too, then smash that like button, subscribe right here, hit that notification bell. And now let's jump in. And the first idea I want to share with you is that you need to schedule. You need to schedule your rest your nutrition and your exercise. And it seems so basic. I mean, duh, of course, but most people are not doing it. They don't have a clear schedule on when they're going to rest, when they're going to eat healthy and when they're going to exercise. And because they don't have a schedule, well, nothing gets improved. So if you want to 10x your energy or if you want to 5x or 2x, whatever you want to achieve, if you want to feel better in 2021, you need to schedule that in, in advance. So you don't have to rely on willpower alone to get you through your new routines. So here's what I recommend. Right off the bat, before you start 2021, schedule your vacation. Schedule your off time, schedule the days when you're going to like leave work, schedule when you're going to rest every single day. You need to schedule that in because isn't it true? There's always work. There's always something more to do. So if you don't schedule it in, it's going to be negotiated. So you need to schedule in your rest, schedule in your vacation in advance before you do anything else before you plan your projects, before you plan your goals, schedule your vacations and work your work schedule around your vacation schedule because your rest time is so vitally important and it's so much more important than you think. So schedule that first before you schedule anything else. Then secondly, you need to be more thoughtful about what you're eating because the nutrition that you give your body, the fuel that you give your body determines your level of energy so much. I mean, sleep is vitally important, but so is nutrition. If you feed your body shitty sh like fuel, it's not going to perform very well. You won't feel very well. And I know that you know this, but here's the question. How healthy have you been eating in 2020? If it's not at a 10 yet, make it a quest to make it a 10 in 2021. And if you want to achieve that, you need to schedule that in. You need to bake that into your calendar. You need to be more thoughtful, more strategic about it. And then thirdly, and this is obvious, if you don't schedule your exercise, don't be surprised if you're not exercising regularly. So it needs to be baked into your calendar. There needs to be a time block in your calendar that says exercise, workout. I'm going to do my cardio here. It needs to be baked into your calendar so it is a non-negotiable. So here's how I do it. I do it one, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do weightlifting. I jump rope every single morning. That's it. But when you schedule that into your calendar, it is going to get done. And all those intentions that you set are only worth something if they are baked into your calendar. And then similarly, point number two, I want you to optimize those three areas. Your rest, so the sleep that you're getting, maybe taking some naps. I mean, sleep is so vitally important. If you can just optimize your sleep, you'll easily 10x your energy. And most people 
are sleep deprived. So make that a quest. And I know that's a big one for me in 2021. I mean, I sleep awesome, but I mean, in like half a year, I'm going to be a, a father for the second time. And it's going to be a huge quest to this time get more sleep, to this time feel better. And because I know this is coming up, because I anticipate what is going to happen in 2021, I can like schedule that in. I can work around this. I can strategically plan. So here's my request to you. Make sleep a non-negotiable and anticipate that there are going to be challenging times. Anticipate that there is hardship. Anticipate that there's more work than you think there is. So make sleep your non-negotiable. You need to really take your sleep to the next level. Sleep is so vitally important. How can you optimize your nutrition? I mean, have you ever seen a nutritionist, for example? That's a big one for me next year. I'm going to do this and I want you to do this as well. It's going to be the greatest gift you can give to yourself when you optimize your nutrition. You're going to feel so much better. And then how can you level up your fitness? Really vitally important. If you've got more physical energy, maybe you need to do some more weightlifting, maybe some more cardio. I don't know, maybe get more into nature and take longer walks, but something what can you do or what can you improve or what can you optimize to get to the next level in your fitness? Those three areas alone, if you just optimize those, you'll 10x your energy easily. So those are the first three starting points. But now let's move on further. Now we're going to more into a mental energy thing because our mental energy our mental focus, our willpower is so vitally important. So point number three is that you need to embrace simplicity. I mean, the world that we're living in is so complex. There's so much chaos, so much volatility. So here's what I require of you. Get rid, get rid of all the unnecessary, all the unnecessary projects, all the unnecessary distractions, leave them alone. Get rid of them, make your life way more simpler. So here's what I want you to do. Have five big goals for next year. Just five humongous goals that will take your life to the next level. See, the key to a great life is not having more on your plate, getting more done. It is in reducing the complexity, having lesser goals, but bigger goals, and then actually achieving them with real excellence. So reduce complexity, get rid of it, get rid of the complexity in your life, and you'll free up so much mental space for the things that matter most. And of course, if you want to achieve more while doing less, you'll need to be more strategic. You'll need to have goals. You'll need to strategically plan your projects. You'll need to strategically schedule them in. You need to have a strategy in place that will really help you get to that next level. Then point number four, and this is huge. You need to set better boundaries. You need to set better boundaries in your life. And first and foremost, your boundaries they should be reflected in your calendar. They need to show up in your calendar. So what are you focusing on every single day? Are those things things that matter to you or have they been put onto your plate but you don't want to do them and they don't move your career or your business forward? That's really vitally important to keep in mind. You need to master the art of saying no to other people. And the first idea I want to share with you in this point is that you need to stop. You need to stop negotiating your boundaries. They are not for sale. So you need to explicitly have those conversations in which you say, I need this or no, I can't do this. This is too much. I'm not able to do it. You need to have those conversations. You need to set better boundaries so you have more mental space for your dreams, for your ambitions. And it's okay, of course, to have things that you need to do. 
I'm not saying get rid of all of that, but say more, say no more frequently. That's so vitally important. By the way, if you liked this video so far, then smash that like button, subscribe right here, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And then the next big point, and this is huge. This is so huge. Point number five is that you need to drop, you need to drop unrealistic expectations. But here's what that doesn't mean. That doesn't mean that you should drop your huge and humongous goals. You need to have those. You need to have big and audacious goals. That's not what I'm talking about. What you need to drop sticks is the expectation that everything will move flawlessly, perfectly in 2021. Have you seen 2020? It wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect at all. So, why would we expect 2021 to be the same? And when you anticipate the setbacks, when you anticipate the challenges, when you anticipate the hardship, you'll not get so off track when they do appear. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't have big dreams or humongous dreams or big or audacious ambitions for the next year. You should have. I have them. But I anticipate that they are going to set, be setbacks. Like today, for example, I mean, I brought my daughter to kindergarten. It's almost the end of 2020. And now in Germany, they have decided, well, kindergarten is going to be kind of closed again. That's a setback. At first, I was really upset. But then again, I reminded myself, well, you could have kind of anticipated that. When you anticipate those setbacks, when you anticipate those challenges, they don't throw you off your game so much. So anticipate that there is turmoil. Anticipate that there are challenges and anticipate how you're going to respond. Here's what I want you to do. Visualize how you're going to respond when things go sideways and you're still pushing hard on your dreams. That's so vitally important to keep in mind. You need to anticipate that things will go sideways. They will. But how will you respond? How will you respond? That's really vitally important. Then next up, and this is huge. This is so huge. You need to make it a quest to be more playful in 2021. Enjoy life more. Enjoy yourself. And like allow yourself to enjoy the present moment. I mean, in 2020, it has been a lot for me. I mean, for three months, I was taking care of my daughter at home 24 seven. There wasn't a lot of time to work. And I wish I would have allowed myself to be more playful, to be more joyful, to enjoy it more, not stress myself so much out. And that's what I want you to do as well. I want you to make it a quest to be more playful, to be more joyful, to enjoy the present moment. Nobody's going to know what is going to happen in one year, in two years, three years. So free yourself from the stress of thinking about the future and enjoy the moment right here. Have a plan, have a dream, have a goal, have a vision, of course. But then make it a quest to be in the present moment. That's so vitally important, especially right now. Because isn't it true? For, him, for many people, 2020 has been gone like that, even though it was hard. But so often they weren't like available. They weren't present in the moment right here. So day after day after day just flipped through their awareness. They didn't feel it. It happened a lot. I mean, 2020, it happened a lot, but too many people haven't felt the days. They haven't felt the weeks. They haven't felt the months, except of anxiety and stress. But you want to feel great. So make that a quest in 2021. Next up, and this is so important, you need to start. You need to start working in sprints. This is a game changer. I learned this at the beginning of 2020 from Brendan Bouchard to give credit where it's due. And he was citing the largest study on productivity that had been ever been done. And they found 
that the most productive people work in 52 minute sprints. 45 to 60 minutes is the sweet spot and then they take a break. They refresh mentally and physically and that's how they're going to outproduce everybody else. Because if you're more refreshed, if you're more energized, if you take breaks every single hour, you're just going to go faster. I mean, think about it. If we were to run a marathon right now, and that's what most people do every single day at work. If we were to run a marathon right now, we would preserve a ton of energy, just a ton of energy because we knew, well, it's kind of 42 kilometers to go. And even if we're trained for it, that's kind of exhausting. But if we were to run a 100 meter dash right now, wouldn't we give it all that we got knowing that there's a break in 100 meters that switches a shift in your mindset as well. It gives you so much more physical energy. So start working in sprints. If you just do this, if you just do this, you'll feel fundamentally different in 2021. And here's what I recommend that you do in your break. Two things. Number one, refresh your body and refresh your mind. So every break I take, I stand up, I bounce some place, I move a little bit, I activate my body like this, which is essential, the entire body, just like this, even the head, because when you do it, you feel so much more refreshed afterwards because your body is fully alive again. We're not meant to sit all day long, so we need to schedule that in when we refresh our bodies. And I want you, after you've watched this video, try this technique. Activate your body right now after you watch this video and just see how you feel. Try it for an entire week, every hour. Take a break, activate your body, close your eyes, take a deep breath and then get back to work. And the second big thing I want you to do in those breaks is something that's really fun. And I want you to reward yourself every single break. Not meaning like you should reward yourself by like jeopardizing your progress. I mean, if you're eating a cake every break, that's not going to serve you. But something that fuels your joy, something that makes you feel fully alive so that your brain links being at work, being focused with pleasure, with getting a dopamine spike. So every time you get to work, you're excited because you know, in 52 minutes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. For me personally, I love sports. So what I watch a half of a game. I just love that. And it fuels my joy. It makes me feel fully alive. It refreshes my mind because I'm not thinking about work for five minutes. All it takes is five minutes. But refresh your body, refresh your mind and reward yourself. So vitally important. If you just do this over the next year, you're going to feel fundamentally different. But another point, and I know this has been a lot already. So if you need to rewind over and over and over again and start implementing those strategies that I give you in this video, they are priceless. They are priceless. So rewind, rewatch, implement in your life. But the next practice I want you to do is I want you to have a strong morning routine. I mean, you probably already heard about why it is so important to have a morning routine. But let me remind you, when you've got a morning routine, you can prime yourself for success every single day. Because now you're not just wandering into the day, reacting to all the emergencies, which will happen in 2021. Now you're being more thoughtful. More you're, now you're being more intentional about how you're showing up and that changes everything. So have your own morning routine and three things I always recommend doing in your morning routine. Number one, exercise. When you get your exercise in, in the morning, you now don't have to think about exercising like all day long. You don't have to think about it anymore because you've done it in the morning. 
Secondly, you're going to feel so fresh, so alive when you move first thing in the morning. Because you activate your body, you activate your mind, you feel so fresh and alive. So exercise first thing in the morning. Secondly, some meditation, some journaling, some review of your goals. You need to be more strategic in your morning routine. And then thirdly, do something to grow yourself. That's it. It takes 60 minutes. But when you have your own morning routine, it changes everything. Everything in your life will shift if you start your mornings more intentional. Because with more intention, you can do better every single day and you'll feel primed for success. Then, oh, we're almost done. But now, I'm not a big one. And this is so huge. And I know I say this a lot, but this is so huge. The next one is, you need to ask for help. Don't go at it alone in 2021. I mean, I understand in 2020, it was crazy. It was so crazy. But I, for example, I'm going to strategically plan to ask for help, especially when my child is born in like July or maybe June. So I, I have that in mind and I know that I need to ask for help for this. Because last time I was exhausted. Last time it was really tiring on me. So why don't I strategically plan to get more help? And you need to do this as well. Maybe you're not becoming like a parent. It doesn't matter. You need to have more help because you're doing too much, which you should not be doing at all. So ask for help. You can accelerate your progress. You're not going alone. So you have that emotional support. And it could be as simple as asking your girlfriend or your boyfriend, hey, could you do this? I kind of don't enjoy it. And I'm like able to do something else. Like I, for example, in the middle of this year, when my kindergarten or the kindergarten of my daughter opened up again, I realized, well, it stresses me out to get my daughter in the morning to the kindergarten. I feel like I'm losing like 45 minutes of work and it stresses me out. So I was asking my girlfriend, could you do this? And it wasn't a big deal for her at all. She was like, she loved it. And now she does it all the time. I do something else, but I feel so much more free in here. I feel so much more free in here. So ask for help. Ask for help so that you release stress, you release anxiety, you feel better, you have more focus. What do you need help with? What could you delegate? What could you outsource? Who do you need to ask for help? Don't go at it alone in 2021. And the last one is a simple one but it's so vitally important. It changed my life forever. I want you to practice gratitude every single morning or evening or both, depending on how you feel. If you rate your anxiety level, your stress level at above a five right now, do it both. And one of those is a must. It is a must. So you need to start practicing gratitude in your life. I mean, the times we are in are crazy. They are crazy. But imagine if you were able to rewire yourself into like feeling gratitude, into positive thinking. The easiest, shortest path towards that is practice gratitude every single day. And here's what I want you to do. Just think about three things that you're grateful for in the last day. Think about three incidents, three moments you can always find free moments, but that will change everything. It will rewire you emotionally so you train your body to feel a certain way. So often we're training our body to feel stress, to feel anxiety, to feel fear, to feel disappointment. But what if you could train your body to feel gratitude, to feel freedom, to feel inner peace? What if you could train your body to feel those emotions? Would your life change? I bet it would. So practice those 10 key insights. Then watch this 
video multiple times because it will serve you so much and then go on to the next one down below. It will deepen the knowledge you gained in this video and then until the next time. Make sure that you live fully, live openly and be the leader of your life.